Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I'm surrounded by a few instruments because I got a super interesting question the other day. Um, somebody asked me if I could do some comparisons between a tongue pan and hand pan. <laughs> um, now I only have a few tongue pans. I wish that I had a fast um, that I could demo on for you probably my next purchase, but <laughs> um, that's neither here nor there. Um, so what I did gather was kind of an inexpensive Amazon tongue pan. This is usually a little under $200. Um, and then I got my really nice Kosmoski um, tongue drum, and this has harmonics in it, and this is around $500, um, which is about the price point <laughs> of this hand pan. Um, which is by Paniverse and usually is around $600. So it's a more entry level hand pan comparable to some of the top level tongue drums. <laughs> and then I also have for comparison's sake, um, this is a $1,400 hand pan. And this is also by Nova Pans. Um, and I'm gonna put links to all of these down in the description if you want to grab one for yourself. Um, but for now, I'm just going to play around on each of them and sort of give you an idea of the differences between the sounds of these instruments. Okay, so this is the Amazon Tongue Pan, um, and it has this kind of neat, almost pseudo-ding thing in the center. <laughs> um, but it is mostly a tongue drum, but it has some harmonics built into it, so let's hear how this one sounds. Here is the Kosmoski uh, tongue drum. Um, this one is around 14 inches, just like this tongue pan from Amazon. So let's just hear how this one sounds. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> This one definitely has a whole lot more sustain um, and it just has kind of a clearer sound to my ear. Okay, so this is the $600 hand pan um, and this one is 22 inches. So it's, I mean, that's a standard hand pan size, <laughs> um, but it's definitely much larger um, than even the largest tongue drums. So it's gonna have a little bit more volume for sure, um, but I'll let you decide for yourself about the other sounds. <laughs> So that's the comparison that I think most people are interested in. Um, is it better to have a low-end hand pan or is it better for them to have a high-end tongue drum? Because they come in around the same price range. Um, and that totally depends on you and what you're interested in. Um, of course, the tongue drum is going to be a little bit more durable. It's way harder to knock those out of tune or to do anything to them that's going to wreck them. Um, hand pans are naturally a little bit more fragile of an instrument. Um, even playing them over time, over the course of a few years, they can get a little bit out of tune. That's just the nature of the instrument. Okay, and lastly, I have this hand pan. And this one is $1,400. It's on the higher end of hand pans. Um, <laughs> so 
If you're making a cost comparison, this one is probably not on your radar. Um, but if you're just wondering genuinely about the sound of hand pans versus the sound of tongue drums, um, this will be a good example for you. <laughs> so here we go. So that's all I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions, please do ask me down in the comments because I love getting back to you guys. <laughs> Especially this subject is kind of near and dear to my heart because I know a lot of people have these questions. Um, if you'd like to purchase any of these instruments, um, I will put links down in the description. These three can be found on Amazon and this one is available at the Kosmoski website or also on their Etsy store. Um, so I'll put those down there. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you all so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and click on that subscription button right up there. Otherwise, if you would like to join my Patreon or buy me a coffee, the links to those are down in the description. <laughs> I hope you have an absolutely wonderful day.